What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or you catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and join the wonderful people browsing the website right this moment. So anyway, I am back. Today is Wednesday. It is hump day and we have another anomaly and I'm getting close to my 100th Mars video and uh, I've got a couple of things in store. I've been working quietly in the background on that rock nest video which is going to be like more like a long video. I'm going to break it up a little bit um, but I'm going to try and hit every anomaly I possibly have. I've got so many emails from all of you. The rock nest, I still get emails every day about it. People are finding more stuff on it. This was today. I got a couple emails about today's pictures that came down and this was one right here that was kind of cool. Just uh, you know, this is this right here is probably a rock formation, but just looks kind of neat. Kind of looks like a mask. But if you look at this whole area, we're getting very interesting where the rover is. I'm really interested in where it's at. And uh, let me show you the the whole panorama here. Well, let me back you out here and show you. There we go. See all the little. I've been putting these uh, annotations in there because I noticed I've been doing these videos and keep forgetting them. By the time I get to the end of it, they're gone. Um, so that was weird and a couple other things down here that were really cool. This thing looks almost like an animal. It's actually colored differently. This could be a face. I don't know. It could be two animals right there. It might just be a cool looking rock, but that, that to me that's really neat. And to have it next to what looks like some sort of coral or something here. This looks like this was at the bottom of the ocean at one time. Um, but on Mars, I know we are supposed to have just rocks and it's supposed to be a barren planet. Now, what we have here what seems to be some sort of like feather or string material. It even has a shadow. And it's coming from the back of this, whatever this is. So is this some, see how it comes up? There's the white thing comes here and it comes, it, as it dips that down, you can even see the shadow. It follows it, comes in, goes out as it gets off the ground and comes back here. Now, and it comes all the way up and is connected right to here. Now what is this? Is that some sort of cable? Um, it almost looks like the cable continues on through there. If you see that right there, I'm not 100% sure, but now that would also be interesting because I was over here looking at some of the other things um, and kind of had the same idea. Oop, that was another look at that anomaly right there. That looks kind of like it might have had a pattern in it at one time and it's just been wind bl sand blown. See it? Circle. It has like some rays emanate from it there emanating from it. Um, very interesting NASA panorama they put out today. Um, some interesting rocks in it, interesting formations. Uh, let's see if I can find that one. Stuff that looks like uh, over at Puma. If anybody's seen the video of Puma Punku where it looks like it had a uh, like the the it was actually melted like something could have melted the rock and like kind of formed some of the rocks. That, that to me looks like right here how it has that how they're sunken in and it just kind of looks smoothed out like somebody had like a melting torch and could melt it uh, right here were some interesting looking boulders to me look like they could be part of uh, some building with uh, looks to be a specifically made boulder something there is very interesting um, let's see here where was the one I saw that had the carving this is another thing that just had when I look for when I'm looking for stuff in anomalies my eyes look for things that are in twos um, patterns so I just kinda I noted here that this was buried the rest of it but has two stripes and two dots just kinda was kinda interesting to me um, the colors here are interesting too it looks like we have a lot of purples look at the colors in this area it's a very interesting area it has been white balanced by NASA here let me show you the picture itself real fast because I always do that and I'm gonna make this a very quick video this is the Darwin outcrop at waypoint so um, an outcrop visible as light tone streaks in the lower center of this image has been chosen as a place for NASA Mover's curiosity to study for a few days in September 2003 all right so this is the waypoint color is it has been white balanced so basically it's made to look like it was under our skies which I think all they do is draw back the the color that the rover adds or that they add at some point um, to white balance it but that's just what I think um, here I had it up in Photoshop and let's just take a quick look at that one anomaly down there. Let me let me do one more thing here. Let me go back and see if I can find the one thing that looked like a cable. Oh so much going on here. Here we go. Hmm. I don't see it now, but if you see that look kind of looks like a tubular object there. Some very strange 
looking rocks if these are just rocks see my theories if like I said if you watch my videos this is something you've heard a hundred times here you go. here's the other cable looking thing check this out it's connected what looks just weird just kind of mass on top of the ground and see how it just kind of takes off that way and it goes up it's just a straight line now is that down here at the end of the rock see how it's all part of a uh, like a outcropping to there see how this right here has a weird spinning shape there and it goes up comes around and it goes out that way and heads towards the front of this and even up here there's some uh, what looks to be um, angled see at the top it's kind of like a, a moon shape and it's got two straight lines so it looks like a piece of pie or piece of pizza um, with what looks to be at the end kind of just coming off here maybe some cables something up here there's a shadow of something so I can't see the actual something up here which is kind of strange but you can see the shadow go figure <laughs> Um, let me back it out a little bit and there were just some interesting patterns here into the uh, dirt itself so I didn't you know this looks to be something that the rock just had fallen down that's nothing special but to me this is interesting and how straight this is it looks like that might have been formed at one time God knows what we're looking at but there looks to be something there like a cable or something along those lines and like I said if you come back here and let's look at that strange thing down here um, that sure does look like some sort of strange animal and then over here, sorry if I'm making you guys sick. I wanted to get to this real fast and get this out. Video number 100, I'm coming up to the rock nest video. I can't wait to do that one. Um, and like I said, I have a whole bunch more coming up. And I want you guys' suggestions what what we can do. Would you guys be interested in like a, a Where's the Curiosity Rover this week show? Um, kind of like what did it do? What's it doing? What's it looking at? What I think it's looking at? Um, if there's anything interesting during the breaks uh, that I think they're doing? Um, would you guys be interested in something like that? Let me know. Uh, let's take a quick look at this in Photoshop just for some giggles here. See if I can get to come up. Down here, there was that, where did that little hamster looking thing go? Whatever that is. Here, buddy, buddy, buddy. Alright, here we go. There it is. <laughs> let's crop it out of it. Image, crop. And then we're going to make it actual pixels image oops image size 300 and then we're going to leave you with this um, image adjustments exposure well first let me do the auto color doesn't change much with the auto color after they've white balanced it see I think they've brought it pretty much back to what they say they are um, let's see if I can play with the gamma what it does if anything it looks uh, it doesn't it's got a shadow I mean it could be something I'm very I'm, I don't know about this area about you know we've seen a lot of things that look like they're living um, I, I haven't seen another since, since this came from the panorama I haven't had enough time to sit down and go through every single shot to figure out where this actually took and if there was two of the same area um, so I'm not going to claim it as something that's moving. I'm just going to say it looks interesting. It looks like some sort of animal. It's a different color. And it's sitting in a very symmetrical area here. See how like there's circles with dots in the middle? Um, you know. Either way, take it for what it's worth. Uh, much love to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave you out here. Eight minutes. Man, these things are long. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get some of these done. Like I said, Rock Nest is coming. What would you guys like to see? Hit me up with a comment. Uh, much love to you guys. Take it easy. Well, hope your hump day was wonderful. Peace.